Hi, uh, today we will cover the row data gateway design pattern and uh, this uh, row data gateway design pattern belongs to uh, data source architectural uh, patterns and this uh, data source architectural patterns belongs to patterns of uh, enterprise application architecture. Uh, we will see the explanation of uh, row data gateway design pattern and uh, there are two points uh, I will read out one by one. Uh, the first point is an object that acts as a gateway to a single record in a data source. Uh, there is one instance per row. Per row, one instance will be there. And uh, second point is a row data gateway gives you objects that looks exactly like a record in your table, but can be accessed with the regular mechanism of your uh, programming language. We'll see uh, one example. Uh, uh, so that you will understand these points. Uh, to explain this one, I have taken a uh, person table and uh, it has uh, four columns, uh, ID, name, age and gender. And uh, this person table has uh, two rows. Uh, the first row represent uh, Joe information and the second row represent uh, Goni information. So if you want to create uh, uh, class for this uh, person table then it will be looked like this uh, this is a person class it will have id age name and gender and uh, this class will be mapped to uh, person table and uh, as per uh, this row, row data gateway pattern and an object that act as a gateway to a single record in data source and uh, there is only one instance per row so now currently we have two rows. Uh, first row represent the Joe, second row represent Goni. Uh, so if we create object out of uh, this first row, it will look like this. Joe 23 mail. The first person object. And uh, if you create object of uh, second row, it will look like this. Goni 28 mail. And uh, this object represent this second row and this object represent the first row so for each row the f each row one uh, instance will be there so as per this design pattern an object act as a gateway to a single record in this case this object act as a gateway to this Joe record and this goni object this goni person object act as a gateway to this record this goni record in the person table okay and uh, second point a row data gateway gives you object that looks exactly like a record in your table so if you see this one this object whatever values are there it exactly like a uh, first row in the person table okay and uh, how it works uh, suppose uh, see here uh, we have uh, four components client uh, person finder uh, database and the person class suppose we want to get uh, uh, first row from the person table and we want to create a uh, person object out of it so it will be like this uh, client uh, will create a new person finder and uh, then it calls a find method in the person finder then uh, this person finder will uh, execute uh, select uh, from person where id equal to 1 so it will give the first record this joe record then using this uh, record set uh, we can create the person object so in this case uh, we are accessing uh, first row so the person object will be look like this joe 23 mail and uh, suppose if you are finding a uh, second row then uh, select star from person where id equal to 2 so that is this one and it will re return the record set uh, which contains uh, the second row information and uh, for this row we are creating the new person object and the person object will contain this information goni information okay so as a summary uh, it's like a uh, an object that acts as a gateway to a single record in data source there is one instance per uh, row this is about uh, uh, row data gateway pattern uh, thanks for watching